Hello friends, today we will be synthesizing paranitroaniline from acetanilide. Paranitroaniline, as the name says, is an organic compound with the nitro group attached to the para position, also known as 4-nitroaniline. Materials required for this synthesis include 10.5 grams of acetanilide, 11 milliliters of glacial acetic acid, 25 ml of 98% sulfuric acid, the nitrating mixture, 40 ml of 70% sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide to neutralize the acid and ethyl alcohol. We proceed with the synthesis of paranitroacetanilide. Start by taking 10.5 grams of acetanilide in a 250 ml beaker. Then we add 11 ml of glacial acetic acid into it. With a glass steering rod, we mix up the contents very well. The mixture was then gently heated until everything dissolved and we are left with this clear solution. Now we add 25 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid into this beaker slowly with constant stirring. The addition of acid is exothermic and the mixture becomes very hot and a clear solution is obtained at the end. The beaker was then placed in an ice bath with a separatory funnel attached on top of it. The separatory funnel was then filled with pre-chilled nitrating mixture containing 5.5 ml concentrate 68% nitric acid and 3.5 ml of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid. The knob of the funnel was adjusted so that the nitrating mixture falls into the beaker at a rate of 1 drop per second. The mixture was constantly stirred with a glass stir rod. The temperature was monitored and it was kept below 10 degrees Celsius. If we raise the temperature, there will be chances of formation of other side products. What is happening here is acetanilide gets nitrated in the para position forming paranitroacetanilide. After all the mixed acid has been added, remove the beaker from the ice bath and allow it to stand at room temperature for 30 minutes. Then we pour the reaction mixture onto 125 grams of crushed ice taken in a 500 milliliter beaker. This will precipitate out the paranitroacetanilide. Use a glass steering rod to mix everything up. After adding it, we will allow it to stand for 15 minutes before we filter the solution. This is to ensure complete precipitation of paranitroacetanilide. After 15 minutes, filter the solution and collect the crude precipitate. I am using a simple gravity filtration method here. We have to wash the crude precipitate couple of times with cold distilled water to remove the excess acid. Since the particle size is very small, it took a lot of time to filter. When I became impatient, I took another two flasks and set up filtration in them simultaneously. The crude product can be directly used for the next part that is the synthesis of paranitroaniline. For that, we heat a mixture of 7.5 grams of paranitroacetanilide and 40 milliliters of 70% sulfuric acid in a 500 milliliter round bottom flask fitted with a reflex condenser on top. The flask was also placed in an oil bath. After heating for some time, the precipitate will dissolve and the solution becomes clear. What is happening here is the hydrolysis of paranitroacetanilide to paranitroaniline. This is now present in the liquid as the sulfate form. After everything gets dissolved, we keep heating the flask for some more time like about 2-5 to five minutes and then we remove the flask from the oil bath. The next step is to precipitate out the paranitroaniline. I decided to do that in a wide mouth container as it will be difficult to remove the precipitate from a narrow mouth container after the precipitation. So I poured everything from the round bottom flask into a 500 milliliter beaker. Now 
Now I add the 10 percentage sodium hydroxide solution into it until the acid get neutralized. After adding some amount of this 10% solution, I realized that this will require a lot of the sodium hydroxide solution. So, since I did not have a larger beaker, I decided to make a more concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. But this made the reaction with the acid extremely exothermic and the solution started to splash. But I slowly continued to add the sodium hydroxide solution until the pH became alkaline which I tested with the litmus paper. You can now see that the violent exothermic reaction with splashing that occurred when I added the concentrated alkali. But finally I was able to make the solution neutralized and here we have the crystals of paranitroaniline. The precipitated paranitroaniline was then filtered. Again, due to my impatience, multiple simple filtration setup was made and I filtered it in four flasks. Finally, we have this yellow colored crude precipitate of paranitroaniline. Now it's time for recrystallization. Recrystallization was done using a 50% ethyl alcohol and water mixture. I used around 200 milliliters of this mixture, which means about 100 ml ethyl alcohol and 100 ml distilled water. On cooling, the crystals were obtained, which were then filtered, and this is the purified product. The final yield was around 4.8 grams which is almost equal to the theoretical yield of paranitroaniline. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.